using my new camera and I have this thing to put it in but I don't really know how to do that. Okay, let's get out of here and get back home. is so breezy getting into Hollywood. I imagine it's because most people are isolating. And here I am going into work. I'm gonna try really hard not to touch anything. It's actually really beautiful out. Got my hand sanitizer, although I always have my hand sanitizer because germs. I still need sunglasses. Probably not the best time to go sunglass shopping. Ooh, Zanku chicken. There is a really good, my favorite murder about the Zanku chicken murders. Zanku chicken. Oh, my bangs are crazy. My hairdresser, of course, is not seeing people right now with good reason, right? Let's be real. I have, let me see, one, two, three. I have like three, four places to go. <laughs> and then I'll go home and I'll just type like the wind. Okay, stop number one, CVS. Okay. It is wild how many knobs and handles and things, just things that we touch. I'm at the post office. It looks kind of busy, actually. I touched nothing. Right. Going to the dry cleaner. I know a lot of people out there will be like, Girl, why don't you just say you're staying home and you're not doing these errands? I get that. I think because I need to earn for my family, I'm a little bit between a rock and a hard place, as many people are. So many of my artist friends are completely out of work and they do not know how they're going to pay their rent. I'm not sure how landlords and mortgage companies are going to handle that. I know quite a few healthcare workers. They're really risking their lives. So yeah, this is pretty trivial and pretty silly that I'm doing this. So I recognize that. And I also super respect all of the healthcare workers who it's their job to serve the public and take care of their health even when they do stupid things like go to the post office. Okay. I'm back in the car, no eggs. Onward, I'm going into the bank. It was a lovely interaction with the bank folks. Going into UPS. Dookie. Just one more drop off. Just have to go to FedEx. I am really grateful that people are, are still working. I know I just touched my face. Uh, being so hyper aware. I don't know if you can see this. There's a grocery store behind all of that. The line was all the way out of the store and around and it went down into the parking garage. That was my last errand for work. I'm gonna head home. Have some coffee. I just feel lucky that I even have coffee to drink, okay? Who is this? Hello, I'm the church lady. <laughs> I just think you're completely out of line calling her neurologist to cancel her follow-up appointment. I don't understand why it is that you are taking it upon yourself to decide what kind of doctor appointment our mom gets. This is just crazy. You don't know what was going on. Never been in her house. We had to wait months for these appointments. Please, just stop. Stop. I'm, I just had it with that woman. Have a time. Ooh, I just... For pretty much all of last year, I was so patient with all of her friends and they would say the worst shit to me and my sister. I don't wanna to talk to that person anymore. I just can't. Okay, so today is, it's kind of almost day one of like full day of quarantining. Quarantining, it's 
very weird. And then of course I went to work yesterday for a little bit. So today I'm gonna be working from home. We'll just make it a lovely day in here. So another um, thing that I was thinking of, which is pretty cool is we have this as a reminder. Today we begin again. So let's begin again. I am still working like a maniac, just typing a ton of things for my work. I wanted to show you some of the wonderful things that I get to look at while I'm typing. I get to see a lot of these types of pictures. Mmm, delicious. Oh yes. So I wanted to share that with you because I don't want to be the only one looking at these things, okay? I just realized while I was showing you these pictures that very close by is our beaver skull. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those chompers. I think it's Thursday. I don't know. Now the days are starting to run into one another. Okay. I'm taking a quick croissant break. Chocolate croissant that our friends Sammy and Jair brought me. <clears throat> also, cats. We are adventuring out. This is one of the first times that I've decided to walk with my camera and it feels real embarrassing. <laughs> You'll get over it. Will I? Yep. Okay. There's a mandatory um, shutdown of LA County. That was my mechanic. For the next month not Stop. just till the end of the month the next month so no more cars in the shop no more cars in the shop i actually that's what that guy was talking about when he was trying to get his hair cut he was telling that barber he's like you gotta shut it down they shut everybody down shut it down shut it down shut it down shut it down we actually know people who own that that bookshop right there too and they won't be able to keep their doors open either but they're gonna be okay as well as the other small businesses like my sister actually we should turn around and walk to the shop because it's gonna take us a minute okay. Okay, stay safe during the apocalypse. <laughs> it's so pretty out. Not, I wasn't saying I am so pretty. You are so pretty. <laughs> you are so pretty. Stop. The sun is going down. Hey guys. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you doing during this crazy time? Hey. I'm being responsible, I guess. <laughs> So it's different. Stay healthy. <laughs> Wash your hands. <laughs> I like that they already knew I was doing a vlog. You just had your first, can I be on the vlog? It's true. I did it. Dreams, you guys. Dreams. Urgent car. That dog is beautiful. Hey, lady. Can't see it. Oh, there goes a hawk. Sorry. Oh, elbow bump, elbow bump. Are your guys gonna be okay? Your guys, you know, your mechanics? Well, that's, that's good. That's good of you. You kinda have to take care of people. Have a nice month. Bye-bye. Everybody's coming to get their car. Okay, cleaning the wheel, cleaning the wheel. Okay, 
We're going to do something crazy. We are going to take our chances and we're going to grab something from Ruby's Diner. Ruby's. One double deluxe burger with no tomato. Okay, so I'm waiting for my food and I just heard from my sister. She said, are you okay? I said, what do you mean? You guys are not supposed to leave your house uh, after midnight. And I was like, oh, like a curfew? And she says like, no, not at all. <laughs> like you guys are on lockdown. Thank you. Take care, you guys. So I guess I need to read the report. I think it sounds like maybe we can't leave. They're kind of ill-placed, let's be real, because look, they had to put the parking signs right there. So if somebody's taking a picture, that doesn't, that's not the greatest. It's our last chance for non-essentials. Do you want to get some whiskey before we kind of. lock it down? Kind of. Also, they might have eggs. They might have eggs. I doubt it. Ooh, look at the line of cannabis. That's right. People are just getting stocked up with the most anxiety reducing items that they can. Wow, it's packed in this parking lot. This is not normal. How are you doing? I did need to. Our dear friend Eric sent me a Marco Polo. This is a poem called, I am not this. <clears throat> I am not this. Your beauty closes my eyes and I am falling into that. You cut the umbilical with this love that's been with me since birth. I love the idea that he sent me a poem. In this time where none of us can be together around each other in the same space, it's just really sweet to be sent a poem. The connection to the friend is secret and very fragile. The image of that friendship is in how you love. The grace and delicacy, the subtle talking together in full prostration, outside of time. When you're there, remember the fierce courtesy of the one with you. <laughs> 